Hi, this is Skeeter, and welcome to Parallels Desktop for Mac. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to set up a virtual machine in Parallels Desktop for Mac. With Parallels Desktop for Mac running, you will be presented with the new virtual machine wizard if you have not already installed any virtual machines. If you don't see this wizard, simply go to the Parallels menu and select File New. Parallels Desktop for Mac supports a wide variety of guest operating systems, such as Windows, Linux, Mac OS X, Chrome, Solaris, and more. In our example, we are going to install Microsoft Windows 8. However, the overall installation process will be similar for other OSs. To start a virtual machine installation, click on the Install Windows or Other OS from DVD or Image file, and then click Continue. Parallels Desktop for Mac will automatically scan your local drives looking for image files for recognized OSs. If you don't see the OS listed, you can also click on the Locate Manually button to either drag an OS into the wizard or search. Once you've selected the operating system you want to install, click on the Continue button. Since Windows 8 requires a product key, we are prompted to enter it here. Enter the key or uncheck the product key box and then click Continue. We can now choose what level of integration we want Windows to have with Mac OS X. If we choose like a Mac, your Windows apps will be integrated to Mac OS X and the virtual machine will run in coherence mode. If you select like a PC, your Windows will look more like a regular install of a PC with less integration with the Mac. Select the level of integration you would prefer and then click Continue. Next we are asked to select our choice of Windows experience. If you select like Windows 8, then Windows will boot into the Windows Start menu and Windows 8 apps will run in full screen. If you select like Windows 7, Windows 8 will boot directly to the desktop and we will then add a start menu along with allowing Windows 8 apps to run in resizable windows. Select the level of integration that you would prefer and then click continue. We are now given the option of specifying a name for the virtual machine and the location the VM is stored. If we want to be prompted to customize settings for the VM, check this box. And optionally, we can let our friends know on Twitter and Facebook that we use Parallels Desktop for Mac. Once we click Continue, the virtual machine will automatically start to copy and configure the required files. During the OS installation, you may get prompted for various OS-specific parameters. Follow these prompts to configure the installation of the virtual machine. Once completed, you will now have a virtualized operating system running on your Mac, and it will be listed in the Parallels VM list. For more videos and product information, please visit www.parallels.com forward slash products forward slash desktop.